how are you guys i be you learning here in today video i am going to show you how you can utilize uh, model in place to develop a still canopy or anything as per your requirement so here you go now i have new model open i will go to architectural tab and choose the wall and i'll just draw one wall around 15 meter long and this wall property i will go to set level 1 to around 5 meter it's okay and connected or i give 6 meter okay now i'll move to level 2 plan here I will go to component and I will choose model in place. Here I can choose generic model and this canopy. Here I will give one reference plan here. I can say this is a start. A start. And then I will copy another one from here. And then I will give ten meter. and then this is end so this is a start and this this one end okay now now i'll go to create tab and then i'll choose extrude extrusion and then i will go to set and then i'll choose a start plan and then a start i'll select okay this is from west side and i'll choose this one so now i will go to create extrusion i'll choose from here and then this is around 3 meter 3 meter by this one i give 300 Okay, another line I need like one fifty. Then I just give some shape. It is coming like this. I delete this line. I delete this. I trim, extend this line. I will make arc. Close this. Delete this, and then this is trim extend. This one. So now I can check this one, and then I will go to 3D to see this is this is the set 3D. It's created. So I just pull it up to here. Okay. Now I'll move to level two plan. Here I can. I'll go to. Okay, again. I will go to create void. This time I will choose void. Then I will go to choose this. Fifty m, and then I will give offset hundred m, and then again. copy this one from here to here 50 mm so here i am going to give some shape
this will come to close this this line will come here and then this will close here then continue here 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 and then close here then this I will just copy this then I mirror here just I'm trying to arrange this and then I will give one line from here to here delete this line this one this one and this this should be cut here and once I will select this it should make sure this all is close okay so this is looking good now what I will do I will go to select one and then copy around 1.5 meter ok next I will just trim this line from here and join this and then delete this then select control select this then copy command then this is the base point copy again I have to make sure multiple check is on so you can copy continue copy then copy here then copy here next a few more and copy here next one is here um, and one more I can copy here ok so it's coming here then I will trim this line and then I will adjust this to just move here ok now I will check this key I will move to 3D and then I can see I will just extend this line up make sure it's cutting all through that so you can see here Now I will go again to west side and I will try to make some fins. So I will go to create extrusion again. Then I will pick line, select this one, this one. Then I will go to draw this here around 300 and then I close this. Now this time I will go to choose I can see this this time I will go to choose sweep and then I will go to pick path I will just go to click pick path in 3D choose this 
then I will move to west side and then I will go to draw ok you already pick path then I will go to select profile edit profile then pick line this one then this one then I will go to draw around 300 then I close this one and trim extend TR close this then I will go to draw another from here draw from here to this this is 50 and this one I'm going to rotate this one around 30 degree and just move this position to here and make sure this is 300 move so from here to here this is I'm just going to arrange some more fins copy this way left side multiple check on so 300 then again 300 and again 300 couple of more 300 and then here 300 and then I will just go to select and copy this same or I can draw from here to here and then I will move this line from face of the wall around 150 and then this one 350 now I'll check ok and then ok so here I have one more thing I have to do here I can see this is overlapping, overlapping with, uh, with each other so I'll just clean up this. I'll again go to create. Choose void form. Make sure this is set. Pick plan. And set this plan. Okay. Now move to level 2. make it little bit bigger and then this one up to here open pick point now I will go to just uh, the, draw the line from here to here trim extend and then this line I need to delete this and I will make one line from here to here trim extend trim extend sorry trim extend so this line is close cutting this is cutting this is cutting. okay now I'll just check if the, everything is okay uh, this is not close so I will close this line also from here and I will try to match yes. AL for a line and I will line up to here so make sure this is extended out of that line then ok once I cut this one I will go to 3D and I will check then extend little bit more to cover all the parts fully okay now 
I can see here already it's cut but it's cutting another element also so I'll go to this I select this void then I will go to un uncut geometry then I will select first white cut and then I don't want to cut this geometry so here you can see this the last one what I cut this this is separated If I will go to shed mode, to be more clear, here you can see this area is completely separated from the when we made only these two parts. So here you can see here this is still same. So now I will go to just update that. I will hit the tab couple of time to find that one then I will go to edit text to zone I will go again level 2 plan and I will just start copying this copy make sure multiple check is on then copy from here to here another copy here another copy here and then like this try to complete all your shape Okay, up to here now once done I didn't cut this ok now I will use trim extend to just uh, clean this line and then I will just trim extend this uh, one more thing this line I need up to here and then this copy control and drag to copy and then this line to here and delete this so this if you will hover over there and the mouse and hit the tab key select you can see this should be in one continuous uh, line so if you did like this then check the key now again move to 3D and this is all your white cut once you finish then it's you can see this is nicely cut and everything is perfectly done as per so like this you can make a model in place uh, anything as per your requirement thanks for watching please subscribe for upcoming videos Thank you.